Hello there, I'm Esteban from Gohisu Short Student. Welcome to another episode of From My Bookshelf, where I go into my bookshelf and I pick up some calligraphy books for you to look at uh, because I get a lot of questions about what books are good, uh, what books are good to learn, what books are good to have uh, when you are uh, practicing Japanese calligraphy. And I always say that there's not a lot of out, there's not a lot of out there. And um, so, and I do have a few books that, well, I would like to just share it with you so you can uh, maybe get them yourself or, uh, you know, it could be a little more helpful because I know that part of my, the reason for me to uh, doing the website and doing this YouTube channel is to try and to bring awareness to people out there about the art of Japanese calligraphy because, well, there's, it's not, uh, there's not a lot of information. So, anyways... This episode, I want uh, uh, one of my favorite books that I have, which is Sen and the Art of Calligraphy, The Essence of Sho by Omori Sogen and Terayama Katsujo. Now, this book was translated by John Stevens, which means that the original book was actually written in Japanese. And uh, if you don't know John Stevens, he is a, a very famous author when it comes to translating uh, Japanese uh, books into English. And he wrote a lot, he translated a lot of the uh, uh, Aikido books by Morihei Ueshiba. So he's got a good background. He's a very solid author. And Omori Sogen is the, um, or was, the uh, Sen master from the Rinzai lineage uh, from the Shosenji in Hawaii. Now, so Sh Shosenji is a Sen monastery in Hawaii from the Rinzai uh, lineage of uh, Zen. And uh, Omori Sogen. He was probably one of the most famous Zen masters of the 20th century. And uh, his style of training comes from Yamaoka Teshu, which he shows a bunch of calligraphies on Yamaoka Teshu in the book. Uh, and then the style of training that I'm talking about is the style of training that I try to talk about in my studio through the website and through uh, the channel is about uh, this triangle of uh, Ken Sensho, which is the sword, Zen, and brush. Sore is the martial arts aspect of the training, Zen is the spiritual aspect of the training, and Brush is the art or literal aspect of the training. So that means the, to have a complete training uh, to develop your character and, and to develop as a human being, uh, you should have those three types of training. You should have some sort of martial training, you should have some sort of spiritual training, and you should have some sort of art or um, little old training where you, where you deal with aesthetics uh, to create something. And, um, and then in this style of training of Omori, so again, coming from Yamaoka Teshu, was the martial arts, Zen was the spiritual, and sh uh, the little old was Sho, which was the brush. So in, uh, in my case, my martial training is Aikido, as you probably know already. Uh, my spiritual training is Zen, as you probably know already. And my art and my uh, aesthetics, a little of training, it's uh, Japanese calligraphy and also writing. So let's take a look at this book. Now, the, this is not a how-to book. This is not a uh, how to brush calligraphy book. This is a philosophy book. This is about uh, Zen and calligraphy and a little bit of history, a little bit of the uh, explanation of some of the main, of some of the famous Zen uh, calligraphies of the masters, and uh, these are a bunch of calligraphies by uh, Yamaoka Teshu, which you know we spoke a little bit about him. Now Teshu's calligraphy is just very, very, very impressive. His calligraphy is very strong, very fluid. Uh, his key really comes out. Uh, you could tell that you know he was he was an enlightened person. I mean, he definitely he definitely has chief uh, enlightenment, and uh, you can that alignment is passed on on through through his uh, from his mind through the brush and into the paper which is what uh, calligraphy is all about so he goes into in uh, a lot of that and then he also goes through some other uh, Zen masters uh, calligraphies and he explains a little bit uh, for example if we take a look at this one right here uh, he's got a, we got a picture of the calligraphy so we can see it we can appreciate it up over here. He's got a translation of the calligraphy, which is huge because the, uh, a lot of Zen calligraphies are very hard to understand because they write in, in such a cursive way. So by Omori again actually putting the translation and then writing it in pencil or pen form next to it, it's, uh, it's, it's really, really helpful if you want to try to brush these calligraphies on your own. But um, And also it has a little explanation. It tells you what who the calligrapher is. 
who the calligraphy was uh, and in the date. So this is this calligraphy is actually from 1820. Uh, so you know it's pretty pretty impressive to be able to see such an old calligraphy. Um, I actually don't know where the originals of these calligraphies are in, on display. They're probably on display on a museum somewhere in Japan, uh, or uh, they're probably displayed in the uh, Zen monasteries. Uh, because that's that's what I would pro I would imagine that they would keep uh, a lot of these calligraphy. So then, and then also at the end, he's got uh, some of the illustrations um, from the Bodhidharma, and then uh, some of these illustrations over here, uh, which are pretty cool. I've I've done a few of those myself. And then just the last portion of the book, he only goes into a little small detail on the way of the Sen brush, and um, and he talks about the practice of uh, Hitsu Sendo, and uh, Hitsu Sendo is the, the way of the Sen brush, and uh, there's a specific way, and then he goes into explain on how to hold the brush, the breathing, and how to do the, the single line, and then uh, how to do the Sen circle. Uh, again, not very detailed, this is more of an explanation kind of book, this is more of like showing you how this is done, not really telling you or explaining you how it's done. Uh, but it's really cool, it's really nice to see and to read about it. Um, but um, Hitsu Sendo is the, the way of the Sen brush that Omori again uh, practiced and he taught. And then his, uh, his Sen lineage practiced uh, a lot of uh, calligraphy uh, coming from that teaching of uh, Hitsu Sendo. Uh, so, uh, now the problem with this book is its availability. It's out of print and uh, you can only get it used. And right now it's going on Amazon for like three hundred dollars, and uh, I I think that that that's a lot of money. And uh, maybe it's because this, the the book is out of print, or maybe because the book now is probably uh, a collect a collectible item. I don't know. But when I bought it, um, I bought it in the used conditions, not very good. As you can probably see the book. It's it's uh, you know pretty beat up. Um, but I think I bought it for like twenty or twenty-five dollars, and then you know that was a few years ago. Um, I I was just looking at it uh, on Amazon to see if it was available for when I was making the video, and um, yeah, it was like three hundred dollars for like new condition, and uh, for used conditions, it's probably around forty, fifty, somewhere eighty dollars. So. Uh, I mean, if you can get yourself a copy, a, a semi semi decent copy where where you know where the pages are intact and you can still see the pictures and read the book, uh, I would probably get it. Um, I don't know if I would drop a hundred dollars on a brand new uh, book. Um, I mean, if you want to, you know, buy, that's that would be up to you. But I, I probably myself wouldn't. Um, and but I mean, I would definitely try to get your hands on a, on a, on a used copy. Now, this is Amazon. I don't know about eBay. I don't know about your local library. I don't know if you can get it through uh, other means. But uh, it, I think it's worth if you if it's worth trying to find and it's worth trying to get if you really uh, want some solid information on Zen and the integration of Zen and calligraphy, which I think is huge uh, in uh, to understand. It's very important to understand. Um, if that is the, the type of calligraphy that you want to do. So uh, thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Uh, i got more videos coming up. And uh, check on the link down below. Well, I'll put the link on Amazon so you can take a look at the, at the book, like I said. And um, I'll see you in the next one.